Hi, welcome to SVR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Lozak. He's Mike Brander. We are the Odds Couple. Today is Wednesday, March 15th. It's March Madness. We're going to talk right now with uh, Jumpin' Joe Gavazzi from ah. winningsportsadvice.com about four interesting games that go tomorrow. You can never get uh, enough opinions yeah. on these games, and especially not from smart Joe. opinions. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so let's just jump right into it. The and first Pete, one. real quick, yep. uh, you and I both have picks oh, yeah, involved absolutely, in the ones absolutely. that Joe's going over, too. So. First one we're going to discuss is Nevada and Iowa State. Of course, a lot of people wondering about this game because Nevada, a very impressive team, great record ATS on the year, but Iowa State, of course, won the uh, the uh, conference championship and very well. Came uh, on like a horse. Yeah, and they're built well for the tournament. They've got one star guard surrounded by other guards who are great yes. to, uh, to, to complement him. So no this, doubt. Is a, this is a team I don't want to bet against. But at plus six, I would be taking Nevada. We'll see what Joe has to say. And you know, I took Iowa mm-hmm. State officially. Yeah. It's on my pick on one of the brackets as well, and I'm sticking by it. I don't think they're going to let down. I think that mm-hmm. uh, they just know this is an opportunity to Did really. Did you give it in our shows officially? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I gave Nevada officially plus six. Yeah, we're head to head. We're head to head, baby. We, we are got head-to-head. two head to heads on this piece of paper. But I, I got to tell you something real quick, Pete. I just think right now that team's building a new, okay? Yes. Fred Hoiberg's only been out of town one year. So this coach is happy with yeah. any any situation with the tournament. So the bottom line, I think they're going to embrace it. Okay. They're going to keep the momentum going, baby. And I think I'm going to take you down. Iowa Let's State's go. a great team, and I think you might be right, but I guarantee you Joe right. Gavazzi likes Nevada here. Joe Gavazzi, what do you like? I guarantee that. you Joe Gavazzi li- likes go. Nevada. Let's see. Nevada has been red hot. There's no doubt about it. Winning and covering nine consecutive games all by an incredible margin. When I was on them in that final game, when they blew the double-digit lead against Colorado State, only led by five when Clavel went to the line, missed three consecutive foul shots after scoring 30 points in that game. Fortunately, the Wolfpack canned eight straight foul shots in the last 30 seconds, and they got the cover for us. The night before, well, I was on Iowa State when they caught TCU fresh off that upset victory over Kansas, and Iowa State rolled to a 20-plus victory over the TCU Horned Frogs. Now they match up in the first round of the CCTs, and I think it's a fair price for a superior team in the NCAAs. That would be Iowa State. Wow. I knew it, baby. Pistol Pete, you better jump in or you better jump off, baby. Nevada. (laughs) <laughs> no, fin- fin- finish your thought, Joe. Sh- finish your thought, Joe. Go, go ahead. Yeah, go off. ahead. You blew my mind. Hey, I'd be happy to finish my thought. I love the Nevada athletes. Fenner is incredible at the point. In fact, he's just one of four players who can put up 20 points any given night. Marshall and and uh, the big guy in the middle, Oliver, and of course uh, their third scorer, Mr. Caroline. All guys who can put up 20 points or more in a game, and I respect that offense. I think Iowa State matches that offense with three superior players of their own, led by point guard Morris, and I love the interior outside work of Burton as well. So I think the strength of schedule is what puts it over the edge for me. I like Iowa State here from the Big 12. They played a lot harder games all year long when uh, Nevada stepped up. Their only first game of the um, non-conference season, they got drilled by 18 versus St. Mary's. I'm going to take the tougher schedule play with the equal athletes, laying the six points with Iowa State here, a team whom I truly believe can go very far in this tournament. All right, there you go. Joe, I I wish you could see Pete's face, though, (laughs) because he was focused in. And again, I'm going to say it, jump in Mm -hmm. or jump off, because it's the strength of schedule. And Joe touched on what I wanted to touch on, and that is the free throws. All right, they are not sharp at that. The Mm turnover-assist ratio here is going to make the difference. Strength of schedule and the bottom line, the hungrier team. It's a feel-good story for Nevada. Don't get me wrong. I love it, love it, love it. And I love that that side of sports. But there's not enough momentum, not enough emotion right there to knock down, like Joe said, a team that's getting ready to go far into this tournament. Great job. Job, jumping Joe. Iowa State, a great team. It was just with, with how Nevada did and the six points I was yeah. leaning that way. But you guys might turn take All me right. off it by tomorrow. Joe Gavazzi from will. Winning Sports Advice. Thanks so much for your insights. Give a quick plug for your website. Thanks. It is winningsportsadvice.com. We got free games up there for you every day as well as NCAA packages for you today. I write up every NCAA game being played this week, and it's available for you. We'll and talk to you real soon. This has been Joe Gavazzi from Winning Sports Advice. Good luck. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Have a great, great tournament, buddy. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, don't miss out on the best basketball betting content available on YouTube. Click our logo button on the bottom left to subscribe. And as always, guys, give us a like and drop your comments below because we want to hear from you. Visit our website to take advantage of all our free products.